it's Kelly Costello with the Nest SoCal Group with Keller Williams, and we are continuing our interview series uh, for the Cal Heights and the Bixby neighborhoods. And today we are joined with Brian Ung with Blue Coast Detail. So welcome, thanks for uh, joining us today. Uh, we're captivating the time that we have together to do an interview, but we're also getting a detailed car wash, so it works. Um, so thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you came about to, because this is a new business for you, correct? Correct. Okay. So tell me a little bit about that. So the company that I started, the mobile detailing business, and the reason why I started it was because I guess I always had like a passion or like, um, like an instinct to like keep things clean. So maintenance <laughs> is like very important to me. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I would say like when I first got my own car, I started driving. Um, I mean, who really buys a new car, right? A brand new car off the lot nowadays. So a lot of people, they'll get like a used or old car and then you'll notice stains or like just imperfections that you wouldn't like. So, you know, when I got my license, I was like, oh, that's nasty. I don't like that. <laughs> like, oh, what is that? So I just started experimenting with like different chemicals, different methods and strategies on like how to get these things out. Yeah. So sometimes I'll spend hours, could be minutes, I'll like, oh, let's test this product out. Let's see if we can agitate it and like make it look like it never happened. So I was always into it, just never had like the courage to start it before. And I know you mentioned that you are newer to the Bixby Cal Heights area. You moved here living with family. Um, how do you like it so far? Uh, you know what? I like it because you can pretty much walk anywhere and yeah. there's, you could try something new. Like yeah. there's food down the street, there's good tacos, there's still crap. So it's almost like you don't really have to drive. You yeah. could just literally just walk out my neighborhood and I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we love about it too. So I'm glad that you're in the area. Um, one of the things that uh, we kind of go back and forth on is whether or not it makes a difference to the car for it to be hand washed, um, what going through a drive through car wash does to your car, um, mobile detailing, how often should it be done? Like those questions, could you answer those for us? Yeah, so the difference with a drive through car wash and those DIYs compared to having someone come out say a mobile detailer come to you is that uh, I would say the chemicals are better okay. on your car okay. so let's say you just like your car for example the Tesla I wouldn't want to run it through a drive through <laughs> I'm so guilty of it <laughs> like weekly <laughs> weekly and then I thought okay well maybe I'll try this out and it will get me to actually get my car professionally washed um but yes i've read <laughs> on forums that you're not supposed to bring and i'm like a car is a car i'm gonna bring it through the car wash but i agree that the chemicals that they use are probably not the best yeah and like the materials like you know you're going to the car wash you set your car in neutral and then the the blades and the brushes they're splitting doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, yeah. and it's constantly hitting your windows you can hear it yeah so it's going to do that 24 hours a day almost as long as it's open and then those um those mitts that they use those long yeah. that's always hitting yeah. your car so it's picking up dirt through every car wash that car is driving through so i mean chances are it's not like a 30 minute intermission and then it's being sprayed down to clean off the dirt that's picking up gotcha and so, then that dirt's put yeah, on your car. It's put on your car essentially, yeah. even if it has like soap. And with the soaps that a lot of the car wash companies use, it's actually degrading your paint. So it's not like the best quality. It's meant to be just a, like you said, a quick and go yeah. out of convenience. Yeah. But you know, once you get out, you're gonna notice scratches or watermarks, stuff like that. So it's almost like you didn't really do a thorough wash. Yeah. And you call out a detailer, they could get, you know, the brake dust off of your rims within the wheel wells, hand wash it in a certain technique to where it's not going to pick up the dirt and then, you know, the friction going against your paint. So 
a lot of times there's different methods on how we'll do it. It's like, oh, you can do the two bucket method. There's a grit guard where you can rub the mitt and it'll take off all of the dirt that your mitt attracted. So it's cleaning it and then you're putting it into a clean water bucket with soap and then you're reapplying it and getting it off all that dirt and crud. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so a whole different approach to yeah. to washing a car versus going through a car wash or even the, the hand car washes that yeah. you see on the side of the road, right? Correct. Like um, a lot of these things are diluted with water. Mm. So it's not going to be as uh, effective compared to the chemical that you'll find with a mobile detailer. Um, it's applied properly. You're not going to see the swirls or any uh, residue from the wax. It's just all there, applied correctly, and it tends to last a lot longer too. Gotcha. So you're not really going to need to go to a car wash if it's done correctly the first time. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I know you just started this business. Um, what is one thing that you want to let everyone know that kind of makes you stand out? I would say... Not everyone has a passion for what they do. So most people will work hard, but not everyone will like be passionate about, passionate about what they do. Gotcha. So when I'm approaching like a car like okay i'm walking down the street I'm like oh that looks like it hasn't been cleaned in months i want to take care of that and i would say like just testing and doing the research to use like quality or the best chemicals or applying like certain methods because some paint uh is just not as good as something you'll find on like a high-end luxury car yeah, yeah. So it's gonna, you gotta be careful with the higher end ones. You gotta change your approach sometimes. <laughs> yeah, change the approach or use different chemicals because certain chemicals, they're not gonna be what's best on like, let's say your typical Toyota or Honda. So you gotta make sure like, okay, is this gonna scratch the paint? Okay, let me like backtrack and see if it's gonna be good or not. Okay, um, and I know um, mobile detailer, so you go to um, offices, you go to their home. They're, he's actually here at our home today um, washing the car, so uh, definitely comes to the home. Um, but you do go to businesses as long as they have a power source and water, correct? Correct. Okay. So power. if you have a power source and water <laughs> at your office, um, go ahead and give them a call. We will leave your um, contact information along with your website um, on our web page, and okay. they can contact you that way. Um, and we will also plug your phone number as well. Sounds great, Kelly. All right, thank you so much for joining. Appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. All right, bye guys.